What is up, guys? Doubles back here with a brand new video. In this video, I want to do something that we just haven't done before. And in fact, I want to make that the running theme for whoever knows how many more videos, but we'll see uh, that we do in the future, where I just do things that I haven't done before. So I'm going to be prioritizing legendary enchants and epic enchants that utilize schools of magic, ways to play in melee, ways to play from range that I don't normally do at all. And that should just give some diversity, not just for you, but for me. And I think that's going to be a whole lot of fun. So this character is going to be the very beginning of that. Also, we talked about this in a recent poll, but my AMAs, I'm going to make them every three or four videos or what have you, because I really enjoy connecting with the community like that. That's so enjoyable to me. I think in some ways I almost liked it more than you guys did. However, I will still read the super chats off on the next video after I get those, just because I think that's more respectful in that regard. That way you guys don't feel cheated like the last six to seven minutes of a video aren't really worth watching every single time, because what if it's not your question or what if it's a topic that doesn't concern you or matter? to you so stuff like that so i hear you so that's what we're going to be doing anyway guys long intro kind of the norm for this channel but out of the way so without further ado let's get into it All right, guys, we're going to be doing this um, the old school way, which is leveling 1 to 70. Even if it takes two videos, we'll see. Probably won't, though, considering my diligence nowadays, but you never know. All the way, though, to 70, the old school way. High risk PvP, dungeons, BGs, the normal play, not a 15 to 70 super quick run where there is no journey. So hope you guys enjoy that because in some ways it's almost more for me than it is for you guys. But I know a lot of you guys have been asking for the more traditional journey to come back. So we're going to do it. We're going to be playing on Dagoogar today, which is uh, continuing actually of my fire build so the same character same progression all the same gear in his bank so what we want to do is create an intellect based character so we can utilize that gear and have a head start with the build at max but as i said i need to pick something i've literally never played before and or something that literally has a school of magic or a form of play that we almost have never played or have literally never played on this channel so i think a really good place to look would be legendary enchants that i don't even own now I will be honest with you guys, I kind of have one in my mind already, and I don't know, I'll see what you guys think, but I think we're gonna go with it, and that, my friends, is one of these. <laughs> Oh God, deranged druid. Yes, there's only so many of these and not every class has one assigned to them, but they are completely random. This says my offensive druid spell casts have a chance to cast an additional random druid spell for free. I'm free. <laughs> Now, I was thinking that I could utilize a really underplayed, at least from my perspective, spell. And that, my friends, would be OG Starfire. But there's more to it, my friends, because there's actually a brand new epic enchant literally just came out with this whole new array of stuff with TBC that transforms Arcane Explosion into Starburst, and it's called Starburst Barrage. Now, this new spell called Starburst is a channeled ability that creates three Arcane Explosions around my target over six seconds, but Starfire reduces the channel time by 1.5 seconds per stack and increases the damage done by 10%, stacking up to three times. This means, theoretically, the channel time should only be about 1.5 seconds for what is going to end up being three arcane explosions instantaneously in many ways. This is going to be the game plan while leveling. So who knows? Will I proc the entangling roots? I mean, let's just look at what we could possibly make happen. I guess I could buff myself, right? It could be a moon fire. There's no way it starts casting TP moon glade, right? Uh, but there's the nature's grasp, the bark skin. Will I go into cat form randomly? I literally don't know. But I'm going to go ahead and pick that enchant up off the auction house, send it to this guy. I guess we're going to put it on this green winter hats and then we're gonna concoct a starter build for the deranged druid archetype and guys i don't know if this is gonna work but i guess we'll find out together all right guys so i've got my winter hat showing now and i want to show you guys how this works eventually if we spam moonfire enough look i gotta read you <laughs> we're gonna start getting druid spells i got thorns <laughs> just keep on going what else can i get i think you have to be in the level to actually roll the ability yeah, if you're gonna get it. So this is interesting. I can get Rejuve. I guess I could cast Regrowth on myself. Stuff like that. And I just become self-healing. Could be really interesting for PvP. I really do want to try BGs while leveling. I think it's gonna be a whole lot of fun. Can we proc the Mark of the Wild? Is that- is that- Oh, I got another Rejuve! Is that something I can do? I think that's about it. It's Rejuve, Thorns, Mark of the Wild, maybe Wrath. There we go, Mark of the Wild! Yes! 
Oh, this is awesome. Oh, I think I just roared. I don't know what that could have been. Now, I decided to go with the Moonfire and the Raised Dragonkin, Tame Dragonkin. We're going to go for like an arcane themed Dragonkin. There has to be one somewhere, so we'll definitely find one at some point. Uh, but for now, we're going to be going with the following skill cards and what I think is a pretty good theory craft for the Deranged Druid build. First of all, Starfire, obviously at 20. Molten Armor and Fell Armor for some Spirit Synergy. One's giving me crit, the other one's giving me hit. And Arcane Power, it's pretty standard standard for any kind of caster. It's just more damage. Okay, now, obviously, I hope I get things like Moon can form in the Balanced Druid Tree. That would be really, really great. And I'm hoping I get Entangling Roots, but I don't have any cards for that, so that's pure RNG. What I do have cards for, though, are a vast array of different Druid spells. Mass Entanglement, which is AoE Roots, still pretty good. Nature's Grasp, more Roots, but they have to hit me first. And Typhoon, to push someone away. And I believe you can push people even farther away now. It's a really good animation on Ascension. Cure Poison, I think, was druid based and then we have insect swarm and concentration aura which is just solid so okay we're gonna have reduced casting speed with that a bunch of good stuff for i think open world pvp bgs etc and i think we're off to a good start i did not know if moonfire would proc this i was getting ready to tell you guys it was only going to come from starfire and then as i was playing my guy real quick i was like oh oh holy crap this is actually working but you can see it's a pretty low percent chance so I think I'm going to end up needing a lot of haste. Okay, level 8. Oh, I think I just healed myself. I just saw a plus 74. Oh, wow, guys, I got nature's grass proc. A nature's grass proc. Watch. I can fight the fell stalker. Boom. He's entangling rooted. Or he's entangling roots. Yeah, it doesn't matter. The point is he can't move. And this happens again, too. This was a random proc. Level 13 so far. Haven't got any relevant spells, but we're going to keep on leveling so we can actually get some gear and get into a BG and see if we can proc some random crap against real people. Okay, so I just picked up Starburst Barrage, like I said, which is so cool. Starburst, they just call it. This is what it looks like. It's a massive AoE, and you just use it, and it's like you're channeling a blizzard, but you're channeling arcane explosions instead. And so, of course, as I use the Starfire, as we read out earlier, it's going to reduce this channel time and make it go way, way quicker, which could be interesting burst damage, even in single target, if you think about it. Right now, I'm just going into any talents that boost Moonfire. 15% more damage for Moonfire, 10% more crit, and a chance to get an extra Moonfire tick when... I do any arcane damage, including Moonfire spam. That's interesting. More crit for everything by 4% right here. Interestingly enough, since we're going hard in the druid stuff, we're going to get a lot of the extra little bits of talents that you don't often get, you know, the benefit of. In this regard, 10 seconds off the cooldown of Mass Entanglement. Hey, I'll definitely take it. And we got 10% more dot damage on the Sunfire and the Moonfire as well, which should be good. I'm going to start going into things that increase the damage of Arcane Explosion since Starburst will scale with it. 6% more damage, up to 9% when fully maxed out. That's a pretty good start there's even things i think in the fire tree yeah six percent more damage on the arcane explosion from the world and flames talent potentially as well interesting we'll have to see how it works i'm already pretty high in the level bracket though so i gotta be honest i want to do another bg but i definitely want to try this in a dungeon as well because i think the starburst could be crazy aoe obviously that's what it's meant for but even while leveling all right guys i'm in a razor fen crawl right now i've been testing the starburst i think you guys are going to be impressed so i want to show you guys a little bit of the very basic gameplay right now with deranged I'm going to start off by building three stacks, as you can see right here, of Starburst Barrage. And let's see. Let's go ahead and use it right here. Boom. Look at all those little 190s. That is all a bunch of arcane explosions. Now, one thing I'm noticing is we have extreme mana problems, but at least we've pinpointed that down early. But I think if we just carry a bunch of water, we should be okay with the mana problems. Like, it's going to be kind of slow, but I think that's fine because when we do pump, we really do pump. You know what I mean? Like, we're pulling our weight for sure. Okay, we did gain a level. Level 31. That's pretty good. I'm going to pull that boss over there. Starburst Barrage. Go for the Sunfire. All right, let's go for a Starfire three times. One. Don't die, man. Don't die. I'm just going to pop my Orc Rachel. Two. This is it. Right there. Right there. I'm just going to go ahead and Mass Entanglement. I'm, I'm going to free cast this Starburst. I just want the AoE. All right, now let's go for the Starfire. Overlord Ram Tusk, you're dead. 
Oh, dude, a DPS straight up, like, is gone. All right, dead. Nice. So this is a really good first sign, guys. I really like the way this plays. You can see I have Mark of the Wild randomly, and it does scale with level. So the highest rank of Mark of the Wild that I could possibly cast at this level is what I get. You can see Wrath is actually a part of my DPS, so I'm getting Wraths off randomly and Insect Swarms, which I didn't even notice. So that's really, really interesting. So one thing I noticed is that even though Starburst costs a lot of mana, Starfire costs almost nothing. I could have sworn this was like a heavy mana intensive spell, but maybe I'm thinking of Arcane Blast, which I definitely know is mana intensive and I'm just mixing them up. So that's at least a big, big plus. You know, I could still spam pretty consistent crits with the Starfire. I guess the real thing is that when we get into those level 30 bracket PvP matches, will we be able to compete? So I don't quite remember this capstone bonus existing, but it says my nature spells have a chance to spread my insect swarm. So theoretically, I could proc a Wrath on a procced Insect Swarm, and then I would actually have Insect Swarm spread to all targets within five yards. I mean, just like little things, but otherwise this talent is just increasing the range of my Starfire by six yards. Still good. And we can start going into Lunar Guidance for 3% more Starfire crit and 3% of my intellect as damage up to 9% as spell damage. Pretty good. Yeah, one of the things to keep in mind when you're making a Starfire build is that there's a lot of just like really crazy, stupid, good synergy that's right there in your face and you can't miss it. All you gotta do is read through the tool tips of a lot of different talents and boom, like you notice it and you're like oh a lot of this stuff like uh, that lunar guidance i just showed you guys that's already good for uh, people who would never use starfire is doubly good for me for that nine percent starfire crit so a lot of things like the spirit aspect as well not every build can go spirit based but the ones that can typically can abuse it very very highly i know shadow builds tend to do it now i want to see if i can do it with starfire i think that you know the synergy is there especially by the way if we can pull the chicken and i really hope we get the moon conform guys because we'll be able to get more mana back on crits that should help with that here's another starburst by the way boom and it just blows up it's so fast recount is so good for the deranged druid because it lets me know if i'm actually proccing any other offensive spells i haven't got thorns yet but yeah i do have the mark like i said so that's at least good okay kind of a slow start on agathelos let's see if we can uh, catch up on the dps charts two three into the starburst even on single target go back for the starfire again i don't know if we'll have the mana at max to starburst single target we will see okay current fight data for that you can see first place caught up big time yeah this is kind of a slow one it's kind of a cluster but i think we've tested this the way that i want to test it at this level and in this dungeon so we've basically seen what we got to see at this point i'm just trying to finish it off and get as much XP as I possibly can. Okay, 32, by the way. Chain Lightning Hemorrhage Bear Form. Wow, very interesting. I don't think I need it. I think we solidified that, so I'm just gonna go with something basic like Chain Lightning. But okay, I'll take it. Do we get any loot? No. Okay. All right, guys, let's do some Warsong Gulch level 34 with the Starburst build. It's basically a fresh match, so we'll see how we do. Oh, wow. Looks like they have some big noobs on their team, though. Okay, you guys know the plan. Straight for the flag. I'm being chased by a guy named Cursed with an X for the U. He just tried to stop. Oh, okay, let's just go for him. I don't know where my pet went. It's just one of those pet mechanics thing of Ascension, you know? Oh, I don't want this guy to... Oh, he saw. I think I'm going to kill him anyway. Watch. Oh, look at the Starburst. Oh, holy crap! That guy's mass entangled. No, it missed, I guess. Oh, no. Can I kill him? Oh, no! Look at all that damage, though. If only they couldn't just spam heals, dude. Oh, man. It was crazy damage, though. Imagine if I had a teammate. I can't even be upset about that. I did so much damage. Like, let me just see. Dude, I'm second place damage. I got in here late. All right, the cursed guy. We, uh, dot him up. I need to get used to sun firing first. All right, he's so dead, right? Starburst? Oh, yes! Get it, dude! He didn't expect that. Go for the Starburst after the Starfire. Oh, oh, die, die, die. Yes! Can I kill this guy? Come on, it's so close. Yes, come on! Yes, the Starburst got him! Oh, I'm almost dead, dude. I'm at 1 HP. Holy crap. All right, let's just get the regen. So you can see, I didn't get any offensive stuff from it. That's for sure. It's kind of hard to tell. Oh, uh, apparently the Horde just won, which is not me. Although I did come in first place damage. Yeah, I was basically the star player there. Holy crap. How did we lose? All right, let me get my mount so I can prevent this kind of stuff from happening. Guys, he's back for more. I was about to go over my new ability, but I guess we got to kill this guy again. This time it's going to be a lot more clear, right? Starburst there. Oh no, he's going to get away. All right, it's fine. I'm going to go for the flag. Little Dougie's going for him. Oh God, those heals. It's such an advantage. 
Okay, he's uh, mass entangled. I'm gonna go for a baby starburst. Yep, there you go. GG, dude, you can't beat me. And actually him dying to me there is the worst thing he could do because it gave me a level. Oh no, I don't have a trinket. Okay, let's just root this guy and go for this. It's like the best I can do, right? I have no idea if I've benefited from any random spells. Yeah, I ha have to have, right? Like something. Let's just uh, spam some. Oh God, he's back. I'm just making sure to constantly cast Moonfire so I have a chance to proc something. Like, that is the mentality right now. We are gonna cap. This is perfect. There you go. Boom. Nice. Capture the flag on this character. I'll take it. Do I have to take Trank? Here's the thing about Trank. Like, I can only use it one time anyway. Like, is it really gonna proc anything? By the way, 38. So screw it. Let's commit to the theme. Tranquility. Maybe we can, uh, you know, do some supporty stuff. Uh, Consecration, Mongoose Bite, and Shadow Burn. Consecration, I guess. I will keep it on my bar just like the Flame Shock, but will it be used? I don't know. We're gonna get to a point after this BG as well where we get up to 100% more critical strike damage, which is gonna be so insane for the Starfire spam. All right, can we beat the Fire Cat Boy? All right, let's just uh, go for this Rudy Root. Make him get out of cat form, maybe. No, he's gonna wait. Still got the Starfire. They cats do so much damage at this level. Oh, and I missed one of my things. Just Starburst him dead. 45k XP for that one. All right, spamming Druid spells. Let's go for the Starfire. I should not. Wait, wait, Trank. Let's just Trank. Yes. Everybody's getting healed. Oh, I love this dude. Who's this little guy? Wind of Desert. He's a little gnome. His name is so good, actually, to be honest with you. I don't know. Like, I have a thing for this. Like, it's just, there's nothing try hard about it. There's nothing cringe about it, but it does make you think. It's hard, to, you know, to walk that fine line between something that's kind of role play ish, but something that's not cringe, something that's not too try hard. You know, it, it's difficult. That's why I typically personally default to just complete random name generator stuff or troll names right can't really lose with a complete troll name doesn't matter if people think it's cringe when that was the intent all right can we actually get off a of star bar oh look at the starburst so what did i do actually pretty good once again i got in here late i went 8 1 and 16 000 damage came top three for damage although everybody on my team was winning and uh decent amount of honor only top seven or eight though but okay i'll take it one flag capture definitely had a big hand in that arcane power to increase my damage boys yes all right, guys, I just did a Stormwind Stockade, and the damage was ridiculous. The Starburst Barrage was all but one-shotting huge packs. And we had a newbie tank, too. No offense to that guy. He did a wonderful job, but you could just tell I was doing so much damage that because he was so lower level than me, I was actually taking threat off of him, which should not be a thing anymore. It just shows you how overpowered this ability is, and I highly recommend you get your hands on it. I am serious. I thought this wouldn't be that cool, and now it's my literal favorite thing that I I've played in like a week or two dude and it's on my caster so yeah guys the damage was absurd and as you guys can see i've saved up 89 badges of justice which is way more than i'll ever actually spend i think with you know the stuff we saw in the last video in that shop so i've already set this guy up for success 10,000 marks of ascension and i keep doing the little tutorial quest to get even more and yeah level 42 it's going so good i just know i'm gonna have to cut so much of this because i'm having so much fun everything is content with this build so you know the video probably would end up being like an hour or two long honestly if i kept it all in but we're gonna keep leveling and see what we can do with the amazing starburst and awesome awesome random druid spells that is surprisingly not bad Okay, I've been doing quite a few BGs in dungeons, and the build's been doing pretty well. We picked up things like Curse of Tongues and the Demonic Leap, which, you know what, I went for just because I had no way to close a gap, create a gap, whatever that might be, or whatever I might need. So, that's what I went for. But really... That's about it. There's not much else going on right now between me and Dougie. So, uh, it is strong, though. I will say the random Mark of the Wilds, the Entangling Roots, the Starfires, the Rats coming out of everything. That's been a whole lot of fun. I even saw Bark Skin at least one time as well. So, I'm actually curious. Like, will I get Force of Nature procs? Like, who knows? But we're going to keep leveling because really, really soon, guys, we're going to be able to get into Outland. Okay, so I just figured something out after that last BG. I'll just show you right here. Like, the basic gist of this BG was a quick three cap, and my Star fire spam can obviously be pretty good i was able to beat people sometimes who had way more gear than me depending on their roles because the starfire spam alone was just not fair but i did notice it's either a bug or i'm missing something look up here why do i have this buff as far as i could see you had to activate this buff yourself i never did that i <laughs> never one time would i ever declare loyalty to one faction when i could fight everybody this is really sad for me so i don't know why that keeps happening it happened on another playthrough we did as well and that's not good dude oh wait they have this new mercenary for 
for hire thing they got rid of the outlaw system can you believe it guys okay there we go apparently i got to remove it by enabling criminal intent and the mercenary for hire buff so listen guys if you're new to this channel or even in the last six months you may not have known that i actually started my channel playing the outlaw mode on this freaking game uh where you just go out and kill people the same thing as i still kind of do it's just that was the whole point and we would become a criminal it's gone now. They finally got rid of it. They replaced it with Mercenary for Hire, which is kind of the, almost the same thing, but I think there's no reputation with it, and it's just like easy, you know, switching. I think for quality of life, it is superior, obviously, uh, but it is a little sad in, in me, right? A little nostalgia sadness knowing that the thing that I started with is gone. Okay, we're in a Rothy Basin right now, and I just got in late, obviously. Um, my team is losing by 400 points, so can we make a comeback? Probably not, but we'll try. So I guess I'm going to kill this AFK guy real quick. Like, there's the Starburst Barrage at level 57. It's actually interesting. Like, I don't think I could kill him because 6.3 thousand HP. But I appreciate the free kill, dude. He's coming back. He wants to be one of those. He's like, I'm going to make a comeback. It's going to be right now at this level at this amount of HP. No, thanks for the 125k XP. All right, let's see what we get. I've been getting nothing good. Hurricane, yes! A Druid spell and it's AoE. Great for dungeons. I'll take it. All right, he goes for the root. I'm going for just the Starfire, setting up my dots. I should have gone for the Sunfire. Oh, no. People that ruin the 1v1. I, I mean, there is no real 1v1s and BGs, I guess. I can't be upset with my own teammate for just, you know. What if I was losing the fight? Then I obviously would want him to charge in. You know, beggars can't be choosers. Oh, no, here comes Dashy. Oh, here comes the squad, the goon squad. These cat guys, man. When did that happen? I don't like playing cat personally on Ascension. I just told you guys maybe in an AMA or two ago that Feral Druid used to be my main in like Kata. Like I used to love playing Feral Druid. I don't get the same feelings on Ascension for some reason when I play Feral. I guess it's because to me, the appeal of playing Druid was that you could go into like three different forms if you count human form, you know, and you're constantly shape shifting and trying new things. But cat form on Ascension, as far as I can see, is just cat form, which is still cool if you want to be a cat, but not if you want to be a druid, you know what I mean? Later that same evening. This is what I meant, by the way, about how spamming BGs while leveling is a decent way to make money. Like, look at my money right now. Now, admittedly, some of that was sent over from an alt, but not most of it. So that's a lot of money that just comes from vendoring garbage you get while playing the game normally. Okay, 235 gold total. Guys, the prices of Outland gear are so insane. Like, everybody wants a set, I guess, to twink out as soon as they get to 58. Like, 50 gold for green gloves, man. 50 gold. Like, I paid 30 earlier for something, and I was like, that's my tip top. And then they just kept getting higher and higher, and I was like, what the heck? one of the weirdest 1v1s I've ever had. I am so undergeared and I attack that guy as he's going to enter a dungeon. He immediately sees it so it turns into a real fight and I get a healing touch proc. A healing touch proc that totally won me the fight and then his survival instincts wears off and he dies. Like that was the gist of the fight but oh my god. Because there was a point I ran out of mana because the starburst barrage man is so mana intensive and I was like yeah I lose. Like I'm gonna lose and this is gonna be a fail clip you know but no I actually won. And now that guy can go do his dungeon you know what i mean yeah i'm doing my first initial quest no xp pots or r's or anything in outland right now just seeing you know what i might encounter playing normal because that's what i want to do right now sometimes i speed everything up just for the videos because i prestige like two three times in one like character and like you don't even see it and stuff like that but for this guy it's all random it might as well embrace it and see what we can do with the rng turns out random healing touches when you're spamming starfire is really good now one thing i did notice if i like horn everybody for example okay hurricane i thought was really weak i don't know if they buffed it but like this doesn't look that bad i mean yeah i am dying right now because i'm super freaking weak right now can i not can i not can i starburst barrage look at the damage difference okay just finish him off with hurricane i literally almost died there this is really dumb by the way considering i'm in high risk and someone can just one shot me if you can believe it i've actually gone two points into improved trank because i actually used it quite a bit on my journeys it's my only heal and so sometimes like i almost tranked against that guy but i didn't have the mana okay guys level 60 was accomplished and molten armor has been picked up this is going to start converting five percent of my spirit into critical strike rating which i definitely want to be doing considering the fact that every time i do crit i get 
get 20% spell haste, which is going to let me pump more starfires. So this was the whole premise of the build, something we really couldn't do much with until we got to 60. I want to start going into things like this. You can see the capstone bonus. My final rank of this talent gives me 15% of my spirit as spell critical strike rating. And I just get more mana regen while casting, which is always good because as you guys know, I got mana problems. So let's meditate and uh, we'll fill that out very, very soon. There's going to be a few others though. I just want to point that out. So one thing you can take is student of the mind. You get 15% more total spirit and 15% of your spirit as spell damage. And I want to reiterate that this is going to be further compounded by druid talents like moon glow that just give me a chance to get 30% more spirit for eight seconds when I'm casting a spell like a uh, starfire wrath, healing touch, regrowth, swift men. So in my case, the starfire, now, I feel like there might've been one other. We'll figure it out as we go along though. And of course the fell armor is going to be coming as well. And that's going to give me more hit rating for my spirit contribution stuff. And that's going to be really good so that is guaranteed it seems probably at level 62 okay level 62 and this looks like two skill cards or lucky cards must be a lucky card in here uh explosive trap insect swarm on the lucky card and fell armor man at the same time ultimately insect swarm is the least of my you know main concerns i guess you could say i'm gonna go for the fell armor to round out the spirit routes but what an unlucky draft right there dude holy crap guys i feel like i knew this once and i forgot it but the wand i pk'd or actually the offhand i pk'd off that guy that looks like a wand is so awesome looking it's literally something i feel like i haven't seen since i was a kid which is like that fairly odd parents crap where you have like a stick and a star that glows and that's your little wand it's just awesome. Also, apparently Spirit Bond works with every possible pet. I think even including Warlock Demon Summons, but specifically my little uh, dragon. Now listen, I didn't really go over the dragon guy because we tamed this guy and had the little adventure before, but I will say my Fey Dragon, Dougie, has been really paramount this entire run. With his chain lining, his blink, his mana burn, he's been really good, but I don't know if I would really call him an arcane dragon, so I'm still on the lookout. But as you can see, 136 ticks on the Spirit Bond here, and that's not not all spirit bond does you just get six percent more healing on yourself which if i could nail an actual heal would be good but also just for other people healing me still pretty good in that regard as well i'm going into my spirit stuff right now student of the mind i can go ahead and uh, you know max that out my spell damage 672 uh with it and 584 without it so when you're not even really prioritizing everything perfectly yet that's pretty good i've got everything i've talked about with the moon glow and also maxed out the discipline priest talent meditation so we are ready spirit stacked Yikes, that was a little embarrassing because all of my stuff bugged out. Sunfire, not on my bar. Starburst, not on my bar. I still win due to crazy Starfire damage. I finally started to get some BC gear, so that's pretty good. Still, you know, some level 27 stuff here and there, but I'm pretty good at itemizing nowadays, obviously, as well. So most of this stuff is extremely good, regardless of the level that it actually requires. Yeah, I'll take that, though. We actually picked up this guy's blue, which is so sad, dude. Greaves with the Iron Guardian and uh, a couple other weird things, too. So we actually made some money. 
So I've been doing a lot of editing and I just saw this right here. In 10 minutes, they're restarting the server to release Mythic Dungeons for the first time on the TBC wildcard random draft realm. So I'm going to make this video come out a little bit later than normal just so I can actually put that in the video. I want to do my first Mythic and I want to do it on a random Druid spec. Let's see. I mean, who knows, man? I got eight more levels to go. I'm uh, actually going to start popping some XP pots as you can see now and uh, we'll see what we can do in that regard and hopefully get the 70 super fast. Put on our gear from the last video. Some of it it was raid gear and so we'll be able to have that again and see if we can do deranged druid in actual pve content where people are trying very nice brother right here <laughs> he let me have his aura so i could turn in a quest so we got the wrath oh flame tongue weapon yo i'm gonna go flame tongue weapon i don't see why not i could end up doing something where i can you know enchant my offhand um yeah that could work i mean if we're gonna do mythics we might as well try to use a build that actually works right so flame tongue that helps yo i just got to 70 i thought i was gonna go through all my rerolls probably have nothing too big to say and try to find a mythic in moonkin form guys was the very first thing i rolled yeah we could just get rid of the consecration dude that's literally as lucky as it gets it was like it was meant to be i also pulled the greater heal but that's about it i had to get the thorns by the way like the other two options were actually talent points that would have been really bad to take so okay not too horrible actually especially good as a start right now with the moonkin form now we're gonna keep rolling see if we get anything good and see if we can make it into these mythics it's actually kind of competitive right now so it's not going to be that easy i actually have to pull a good dps so i was just grabbing my gear and I, sometimes i literally forget what i accomplish on all these random characters because i try to go hard sometimes this guy's actually stack like i actually have heroic karazan gear just like chilling on this guy he's just a rando alt that feels really good 116 item level is one of my higher ones right now and i'm full pve power as well i just have to find a proper offhand that we can double uh, enchant the flame tongue with also even though i'm in moon conform i have the star incantation or incarnation whatever that makes me look even better i just prefer this instead of being a giant chicken all right guys i've theory crafted some interesting stuff i did roll the entangling roots and i was also lucky enough to get the power infusion which is just an insane core i've got the innervate i've got everything you could literally ever need i don't however have all of my new abilities at max rank so let's go ahead and get that and we're going to be doing a mythic slave pens with the deranged druid build and i will say i was just on a dummy and i proc force of nature i couldn't believe it to be honest so who knows what's gonna happen i do not expect to be first place dps with all random build but if we could just do okay that would be wonderful all right there's some big boys in this party i can already tell like people are so pumped to get into mythics i, I don't blame them i am too all right what if i just hurricane like how does my dps look if i just hurricane like it's so afk to do it i'm in last <laughs> Yeah, I'm in last of my hurricane, but it's actually 4.6k. That's not actually as bad as I thought. The main thing is, can we get mythic gear, right? That would be really, really nice. 7.2k crit starfire, 7.1k. Dude, we're getting absolutely destroyed right now. Like, this is insane. The chain lightning build is so insanely overpowered from what I can see. All right, the mechanic I can see, I feel like it's the same mechanic, but it's way stronger now, is that those totems will destroy you if you're near them. So unlike what that dude's doing, oh, he's getting away now. You got to get away from them get out of range i'm getting destroyed in dps my rotation is sunfire moonfire and then we just spam starfire i've also got my little dragon doing damage but he's not doing too much he's just here for fun i can't even use my other force of nature when i have him out i don't think i can proc force of nature when i have him out either so i think in all ways it's actually better not to have him out all right 3.2k single target only to get absolutely destroyed by a guy doing 5.7 and then 8k okay so yeah i mean it is an all random druid build but oh my my god item level 120 is the mythic gear holy crap this is so insane like the difference between deranged druid and meta builds is that you can't even really beat the tank although to be fair this tank actually has a thunder fury oh my god it's heroic blessed blade of the wind seeker what all right uh you know what you see something different every day it'd be a boring place if you always saw the same thing i'll take it i feel like this is how a new player feels like the way i feel right now i just kind of like stood and stared for a second i couldn't believe the difference in dps so don't take that too like literally but i feel like this is exactly how new players feel <laughs> like they just end up they get in there they try to do something honest and then they just like they're like what the hell as they look at the dps charts can't even believe it we can trance i guess my little dudes away I don't know if that's going to help me too much. And I will say Starburst Barrage is so bad right now. Like, I feel like you have to talent into it, right? Like, I feel like you just have to play differently with it. Because right now, uh, or maybe it's gear, although this guy is not that bad geared right now. 
Uh, but the fact of the matter is, I can't even get it off. Yeah, that's not a normal drop for this, right? Oh, so they have custom loot, dude. At least I think that's custom loot. Am I getting anything? I'm not getting any offensive uh, random procs right now. I definitely did proc a Mark of the Wild, though, at some point, unless somebody else put this on. Yeah, this guy just did 25,000 DPS. Ascension, you guys gotta, like, actually try to balance this, man. <laughs> like, I'm just, I'm just a little bit, dude. But I am pretty amazed right now by the gaps. Like, the gappage is something different, man. Like, you don't see it in normal versions of WoW even. We can just root these guys. Watch the hurricane once again. Actually, forget it. Let's go for the Starfire Starburst at the end here. I'll show you. I have to stack it. Okay, now go. It's actually not that bad. And we have to uh, stack it again. You can see I'm not, like, even in second, though. Like, it's also not that good. And then we can just finish them off here with it. I feel like in a different world, maybe, it would actually be good. No mana problem so far. Like, I can innervate right here, and that's the extent. Summon my trends. He just bloodlusted, and he has a freaking macro. Bloodlust activated. I'm pumping. Like, yeah, that's what you're saying, dude. Just scream to the whole world. Let us all know how you feel. Yo, is this guy's bloodlust going to put me in second place DPS? Five second blood. Dude, now that's actually cool. Him yelling that, that's actually nice. Like, the bosses definitely take longer, but, uh, like, I could imagine, right, like, if I had two other people that were more of my DPS and, uh, less of what these other dudes are doing, which is, like, way above average for where we're supposed to be. How am I dying? Okay, didn't matter. I, I could see how this might take longer. Holy crap, Mythic Quagmirin's eye. Holy crap, just for my caster character in general, I have the normal one. God, I hope I win that. Dude, two people just went for it. And that literally means this is so... Yeah, this is not nice. This melee guy just needed on it to give it to his friend. Don't you love those people when it's like you're actually with randoms? And then we have critical strike intellect shoulders. I kind of think I might want that. All right, so I lost the critical strike shoulders to the healer. And then I lost the trinket to a DPS who's going to give it to their friend. Let's see who he targets. Let's see who he targets. Who's he going to give it to? Oh, he kept it. The melee DPS physical damage kept it for their other spec. Wow. That is a big F. We got no loot from our first mythic. Yeah, okay. I'll take it, I guess. I mean, uh, maybe we got some gold or orbs or something from it. And we're going to keep queuing these in future videos, future builds and stuff. I don't know. I think this was obviously a really fun world build. It was really fun leveling up with the deranged druid, getting the random procs. Obviously, once you hit max, it's not really a real thing, right? One of the things I was actually thinking about building for the next video is Mana Fiend. If you want to see a Mana Fiend build, let me know in the comment section below. I have literally never played Mana Fiend on this channel. I just don't know if it's actually good, but hey, maybe we can make it good. Oh my god, it's beautiful out here in Duratar. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like and to subscribe. But before we do this, that let's do the giveaway from the last video and i didn't say it at the beginning of the video so you guys that made it to the end and did need a reminder just got lucky because if you want to get into the giveaway leave a comment in the comment section below leave your in-game name and uh, like the video and you will be entered into the giveaway for the next video where you can get an xp pot and a supporters pack i'm going to start giving away the newer uh supporter pack as well so this is going to give you some better stuff that's more relevant uh you know just extra different stuff same value i think though so okay let's see who wins all right link is put in anything goes no duplicate names obviously oh wait pick a winner paul i Lam <laughs> really like your pve vids they're always so entertaining to watch hey uh well this was kind of more of a pvp vid sorry dude but hey gnome toaster your name is sick let me go ahead and get you your stuff. Congrats, dude. All right, man, on the baller ride here. Double checking, gnome toaster. Can't really mess that one up, right? There we go. There's your supporters pack. There's your aura. Congrats, dude. I hope you enjoy the free stuff. You had to beat out hundreds of other people for this. So obviously, you were meant to have it. Good luck, man. Big doubles. There you go, gnome toaster. I hope you enjoy, dude. But all right, guys, if you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Big doubles out.